Before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard Alright guys So I breeze here In Dusseldorf uh, Or Barov we will be covering the Hochschulik University here. I have a friend who's waiting outside. I'm gonna head out and uh, take you straight to the university. This is ICE train, by the way. Say yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push. So to go to the university, what train do we take from main main uh, station? From here. From, from the main station, there are two options: 704 bus. outside. It's not a bus; it's a Straßenbahn. Ah, so uh, tram. Straßenbahn okay. and S-Bahn is uh, S11. S11, yeah. Yeah. Train so take us to university. Yes, exactly. Okay. The benefit of studying in this state is you get to travel with your student ID card pretty much everywhere, the whole yes, state. all over the state. And on Saturdays and Sundays. And if on public holidays too. Yeah. On, the on public holidays too. If people like me visit here, I can accompany on his ticket actually. But I bought a ticket for the whole state today. So that also applicable to IC? No. Okay. It's only for uh, Ari or S Bahn cool. and buses, yeah. So we are gonna catch this S11 which goes to Derendorf. Aha, uh -huh, Derendorf. Yeah, Derendorf is a stop. Yeah. If yeah. somebody got admission here in this university Hochschule, what yeah. is the flight route would you suggest them to take? Two options. Either you can come, which is like depends on their, you know, the, the cheapest mode is like to Frankfurt, and then we can try tri uh, travel from Frankfurt to here. With result ICE. of through ICE. 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 Uh, result of yeah. Result of airport is having the internet. It's the international airport. Yeah, yeah. One station this way. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The same train. Yeah, result the of, same train, train will take you to uh, the airport straight yeah. away. You so, what route? What you took? I took from Frankfurt. Oh, you came. It's much better actually. Somewhere. Frankfurt has, of course, the most frequency. Yes, yeah. yes. Tell right us a now. bit about yourself quickly well, from our audience. I'm Harshavardhan. Yeah. Okay, and I'm studying Masters in Mechanical Engineering in Hochschule Düsseldorf, uh, which is the only course which was conducting in, I mean, the medium of languages English in my university. And other than that, everything is. Uh, there are so many mechanical courses, but everything is in German. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing right now here in Düsseldorf. I came like in uh, two years ago. Uh, I'm doing my, I almost completed my subjects and I'm doing my master thesis right now. You did your bachelor's in? Uh, in India itself. In what? Uh, master's in mechanical, mechanical, mechanical engineering. Bachelor's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much did you score? Uh, it's a 9.27 CGPA. Oh, yeah. And how many students are there in your class? Uh, it's 22. 22 only Two. in your yeah. class? In your class. In my class, sorry. And uh, how many of them are from India? Uh, three. Wow. It's, so uh, it's really good, good actually. International, yeah. But you don't have a tuition fees, do you? No, uh, but we have to For pay like account? semester ticket. Ah, so okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like 320 euros or something like so, that. So okay, no tuition fees, no but tuition 320 fees. euro yeah. per semester. Yes. And do you stay here in a student in one high? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, really comfortable. And I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so uh, it's very cheap. Actually, Düsseldorf is the capital of NRV, right? Yes. So it's pretty costly outside other than the student dorms. Uh -huh. I would really suggest to take the student dorms. Yeah. who are coming as a student. So after three stops, we have reached here. Uh, yeah. Huh? What's the university? Which one? It's a Oh, the white building. Huh? Yes. Oh, HSD. It's uh -huh. yeah. a complete one. Maybe you can also tell people what HSD stands for. Hochschule Düsseldorf. In other places, there will be only one public university, but here in Düsseldorf, uh, it's aggregated into two, which is uh, HSD is for mechanical, uh, sorry, engineering and stuff like architecture, engineering faculties, and 
there is a hahau university which is called heinrich hein alle university when you say in german hahau oh sorry <laughs> it just sounds <laughs> funny but like it's h h u h h u sorry yeah okay yeah. go ahead heinrich hein alle university uh-huh. uh, it's having uh, the medicine and this all the stuff it's related to physics chemistry you know uh, social sciences and stuff which is the right here so this is the stop name this is of derendorf yeah so we just got out of the station which is the so many entrances uh huh the main entrance is over there we're going to go from the main entrance then yeah. okay uh huh this is the map okay let's check the map what all the buildings in shinto wait a second so these are buildings so these are the buildings yeah exactly these are building map we are right here and yeah actually forum is very important for the mechanical students aha uh-huh. yeah okay. because it contains the cfd lab for us you know computational fluid dynamics lab the classes will be held over there itself so we came from that station right there and as soon as you are here this is what you get to see you can see the front view is that in front view yeah we'll go there So if somebody wants to get to the university so what is the closest uh, i mean we know that there is a train station right here yes and the, that's the that's for s bahn yeah and this is for the strasenbahn uh, we can take the 704 ah, from the strasenbahn there is a tram stop right there yeah from here okay which one did you say sorry 704 704 704 yes okay okay do you know the station name oh it's a rathausstrasse or hochschule or something like okay yeah So folks in the street of right here uh, So address is exactly Münsterstraße 156 Acha okay so that's the ha uh, right 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 okay So is this a place where am I supposed to get my ID card No actually uh, it's pretty easy process everything is digital once we pay the fees we will get our enrollment certificate to our address So even it, I received it uh, when I'm in India So but this is before corona or it's before corona when i came here like when the world was normal this is yes. the usual pro- yes. procedure yes. okay so usually everything is it's, it's the same so everything they give you digital. matriculation certificate everything everything will issue to our address we don't need to come here and we don't need to enroll there are different departments yeah every building de- uh, every building represents one uh, department yeah so for example our mechanical department is like five okay so this three is uh, it's also have it's uh, two is a menza and also the international office three is also part of international office after coming here if we want some insurance and stuff yeah. like aok or uh, tk insurance mm-hmm. we have to go to the third building okay. we have to ask them and they will guide us got it yeah and uh, if we want some information about uh, some uh, this uh, uh, dorms and stuff student and works we have to go to the building 2 there will be international office over there itself i see so for the dorms and stuff and also for the examination problems and so if we are not able to register for the exams so okay. we can go there the international office over there also okay so that's where the uh, building number cafeteria yeah, this is the cafeteria that's the men's uh, and where is the office in there upstairs upstairs okay ah. so in building number 2 and 3 which is yeah. two right here and building number 3 right here we have student union uh, and then faculty okay so there are different faculties and so then of course dining hall which is two and then student support center right so yeah this student union which gives uh, information about our you know dorms and stuff student and work but the student support center is different which gives for uh, the avoka and tk they will guide us everything after the enrollment how mm. to live in germany and stuff the next building is the one it's very important for us but library aha uh-huh. so, so this is your library okay this is the library so it starts like this one is library one, two, two is cafeteria three i don't know mix of two three things also student union stuff yeah and, and also some the faculties the faculty of social sciences yeah four is the main building what we showed you from outside there right yes exactly and the five is the five mechanic aha uh-huh. five will go this way yeah but this is library okay uh, also on 
promoting uh, the campus IT. If you're having any trouble with our uh, like uh, mail IDs, uh, university mail or accounts, we have to ask them or any VLAN problems with us. So we have to uh, consult them so that they'll solve our problems okay. related to university mails, the back side of that, okay. the old building. Uh -huh, okay. So this is library as I told you guys and this part, okay. That's your department? So that's my department, mechanical, mechanical department. Uh, everything like classes, labs, everything will be held in here. But only the CFD lab will be in forum building. I'm going to show it later. And this building contains architecture. So building number six. So this is the front side of that IT office, which I was showing you. That's where the library is. And uh, we're just going further from here. Uh, is this, uh, you said is this is a hostel. Yeah, it's a dorm. It's a dorm on the yeah. campus. All right. It's also completely these are dorms. These are all dorms, huh? Yeah. Actually, recently, they constructed it recently. Okay. After I came here, like, in 2019, I came on uh, at the end of 2018. They started the construction at that time, and they completed, like, one and a half year, one year ago. So after all of this dorm, uh, there's this building right here. Yeah, it's a forum building. It's this one. Yeah. Everything is, like, actually right here. Yeah, actually, it's and then separated. This is right. right here. What is the cost of living here as a student? Uh, no, 500. 500? 500. Yeah, 500 is maximum. What about part-time job? And I don't think so that's that difficult, is it? It's not that difficult here if you're having at least like A2 or B1 German. Yeah. And well, it's here, the back, no. In, in, in the forum uh, building itself, there is a Zweck department, which offers us a free Deutsch courses, free German courses. Mm -hmm. You can uh, learn them easily. Like, it's really easy if we just spend some time on it so we can learn at least for until b1 and we can get the part time here if you want to do in a mechanical field the jobs we definitely need j1 here it's really competitive mm -hmm. and well if you want to work like in restaurants or you definitely need German restaurants or caves well i'm right now working in a cave in where in starbucks uh -huh. yeah they pay 800 approximately okay not yeah. bad yeah, 20 hours per week. It's good. So, so can you name some uh, dormitories where students are staying here? I mean, we saw one on the campus. Yeah, that, right that one is Derendorf. You can find it in the website. Okay. So Derendorf, where I'm saying is, uh, it's like Kopernikostrasse, which is a little bit cheap and also very flexible to travel from the uni uh, from the dorm to university. And also there is one more Grunstrasse and uh, there is one more hot Otto Hansstrasse. Otto Hornstrasse and Derendorf are a little bit expensive but the other two are cool, pretty good. Yeah.